Welcome back to a Baltic Homestead. Today we're looking at how we recycle human waste here at the homestead with the dry compost toilet. So without further ado, let's have a look. So every, every couple of days I have the honour of uh, coming here and emptying out uh, the toilet. Um, in a previous video I mentioned that we have a toilet system which involves flushing with sawdust. Um, that sawdust and the human excrement together get emptied into this here which is a, th which is a, a thermophilic compost or a heat generating compost. Um, the whole process of, of doing this is about uh, closing the loop so turning what was formerly waste into a recycled, uh, recycled uh, form which will end up being a very rich organic soil in about a year or a year and a half's time. Um, essentially we're looking at mixing nitrogen and carbon. The human excrement is the nitrogen and the carbon is the sawdust which we add to it. When those two come together it'll begin a process of decomposition. Uh, together with uh, vegetable scraps from the kitchen um, and a mixture of hay and also we add to it uh, lawnmower clippings. All these things together will contribute to a decomposition process uh, which will break down everything. So about a year and a half this will be a bit lower in height um, and everything will have turned into a rich organic soil. Most importantly with the, uh, the heat generating component is that it burns up or, or kills all the deadly pathogens that exist in human excrement. Um, as we're living in a very cold environment uh, most of the time in Latvia, it just means that I'll leave this sit for a lot longer in the event that those temperatures don't rise high enough uh, to, to kill the pathogens as they would in a, in a tropical climate much sooner. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the much of it. Every two days I empty this out. Um, it's not such a bad process as one might imagine because as I've mentioned in the previous video, when you're adding that uh, sawdust to the, to the excrement, it acts like a kind of um, bio filter and it soaks up any of the, uh, the, the smells that would normally be prevalent in that situation. Um, so it makes it not the most pleasant experience in the world to be doing this part of it, but look, it's not that bad. And if it means uh, creating a process of recycling what was formerly just waste, uh, human excrement, recycling that into rich organic soil, then this is far better um, the, the option to use. Once the bucket's emptied, I'll give it a clean with some water, which I then add to the compost also. Once that's done, I'll give it a spray with some vinegar disinfectant just to keep things clean, and also scrub it out, in this case with an old pine branch because I don't have a brush. Um, I'll scrub it out with that and also throw it into the compost when finished. I'll add the kitchen scraps, and uh, finally it'll be the cover material, which in this case is the grass clippings from the lawnmower. If you don't have those, you can add hay or you can add leaves as well, just to seal everything off as the final stage and also be part of the decomposition process. So that's it, job done. Before putting the bucket back in the outhouse, I'll add some base material, which is the sawdust we use for flashing. And uh, once you've done that, everything's right to go till next time. We use a 30 litre bucket. Um, so most people will use 20 litres, but I prefer 30, especially over summer we have more visitors, so four adults and two children will fill it up over about three or two days. 
it was just the two of us that it might last up to a week and um, that would require obviously less emptying less frequently. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, subscribe below and uh, also if you have any comments, feel free to make them and I'll try to answer them as well. Cheers. See ya.